Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to your English class. How are you? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Very good. Thank you. Great. And you, teacher? I'm pretty good. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Today's class. Okay, everybody, let's get started. What do you do? Class number seven. We are officially in class number seven. Tomorrow is the last class of the week. Mañana tenemos la última clase de la semana. All right. Y llevaremos en total ocho clases. This is just for you to remember. So para que usted pueda recordar, right? And please remember that if you didn't connect in a class before, si usted no se pudo conectar a la clase de ayer o antes, recuerde que usted puede hacer uso de la plataforma de YouTube para ver el playlist, para ver la lista de reproducción de videos, all right? Y así no se pierde de nada de la clase. Now, let's get started, everybody. <clears throat> Do you remember? Se recuerdan, let's check. Mention at least three places that you learned last class. Tres lugares que aprendieron la clase pasada. Recuerdan que estuvimos viendo las professions or, or jobs. También vimos los places y las activities. Ok, entonces ahorita quiero que me digan three places, tres lugares. Voy a ir en orden con los que están aquí. Vamos a iniciar con Kevin Rodríguez. Ajá, Kevin, tell me three places. Airport. Ajá, airport. Hospital. Hospital, in a hospital. In a police station. Very good, great, Mr. Rodríguez, thank you. Let's go with Alfredo Alfaro. Okay, Alfredo, tell me another three. Dígame otros tres. In an office. In an, in an office. Uh -huh, in an office. In the workshop. In a workshop. Uh -huh. In a factory. In a factory. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. And let me ask Claribel. Uh -huh, Claribel, tell me another three, please. In an office. In a school. In a school. Uh -huh. In a school and supermarket. In a supermarket. Yes. Great. Nailed it. Very good. Okay. Let's go to number two. Ahora nos vamos a la, a la statement number two. Mention at least three activities that you recall. Recuerden, cada profesión tiene su lugar a donde se ejerce, right? Y también tiene las activities que hacen esas personas. So let's check. Let me have Victor. Aha, Victor, tell me three activities that you recall. Tres activities que usted recuerde, Victor. Eh, eh, talk, eh, talks to people. Talks to people, yes. Eh, eh, quiero ver. Words as, words as die. Words at night, le decía en sí. eh, wearing a uniform. Where's a uniform? Where's a uniform? Great, Victor, excellent. Thank you. Good that you remember. Muy bueno que quizás ustedes no se puedan memorizar todo el vocabulary porque es bastante. Pero sí es excelente que tengan sus anotaciones, all right? Vamos a preguntarle a, let me check, Karina Aquino. Karina, tell me another three activities, please. Dígame otras tres activities. Um, sit, sit all day. Sit all day, uh -huh. Work at night. Works at night. Right ticket. Right tickets. Excellent. Very good job. And last but certainly not least, let me check. 
Xiomara, aha, Xiomara, tell me another tree, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stitch all day. Mm -hmm. Works hard. Mm -hmm. He works at night. Great, excellent. All right, everybody. Miri, porque nadie me dijo Handles Money. A ver. <laughs> Handles Money, we got that one. Excellent. Very good, everybody. Congratulations to you. Los felicito, right? Porque nadie me dejó en blanco. Nadie me dijo, teacher, no me acuerdo, right? Very good. Simple present WH questions. Let's check this information, shall we? Okay, it says, where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. Recuerden, esta es am, right? No es I am, es am. I'm a doctor. How do you like it? I really like it. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's okay. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They are waiters. How do they like it? They hate it, all right? All the and all the distanced waiters. Let's go with Claudia. Let's check, hi Claudia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. How are you, Claudia? Sí. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> I hope you're good. Yo espero que usted también esté muy bien. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Claudia. Listen up. A ver, usted, tenemos tres columnas. Usted va a preguntar las tres questions que tenemos en la primera columna. Sí. Uh, des, escoja usted a quién le va a preguntar para que esa persona le conteste. Select some. Ah, okay. Select some. Okay. A Kevin Rodríguez. Ok, great. Bye. Usted pregunta, Kevin Rodríguez contesta. Aquí. Yes. So, yeah. Where did you, where did, did you work? In the hospital. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How did you like it? I really like it. Great, excellent. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. All right, great. Let me see, everybody. Creo que alguien está haciendo. En la que los animales tienen forma humana. I hear noises. I hear noises behind the background. All right. Now let's check. Tenemos la segunda columna. Let me have. Vamos a ver. Carla. Hello, Carla. Usted puede preguntar, please, y escoja su pair. Select your pair. Hello, teacher. Um, I select. Um, Eric Lazo. Eric Lazo, ok, great. Usted pregunta, eh, Carla, y Eric contesta. Action. Ok. Mm, where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. How does he like it? It's ok. Great, very good job, thank you, great. Now, let me hear Victor Galdames. Victor, the third column, la tercera columna, Victor. Choose somebody to answer your questions. Escoja a alguien para que trabaje con usted y le responda sus preguntas. Your microphone. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Eh, sorry, ahí se me fue el internet. Ah, don't worry, no se preocupe. Si me escuchó la instrucción o la repito. Please, repite, okay. please. A usted le toca la tercera columna, usted va a hacer esas tres preguntas, escoja a alguien para que se las conteste. Ok. Que no sea Carla, ni Kevin, ni eh, Eric, ni Claudia, porque ellos ya pasaron. Ok. Eh, Xiomara. Great. Okay, Xiomara, action. Uh, where do they work? 
in a restaurant? What do they do? They waiters. How do they like it? They hate it. Yes, that's correct. Very good job. Thank you. We're doing this practice, everybody. Estamos haciendo esta práctica porque quiero ver cómo manejamos ya estas preguntas. Ayer estuvimos trabajando pretty much quite a lot of time. Bastante tiempito en las preguntas, cómo hacerlas rápido, right? Entonces ya en esta clase no quiero que me lean where do you no. Ok, ya quiero que hagan un buen rhythm. Let's go with Claribel. Claribel, usted no ha pasado, right? <coughs> Select somebody. Escoja a alguien que no sea Víctor, Xiomara, Claudia, Eric, or Carla. Ni Kevin. Ok. Alfredo. Alfaro. Great. Usted pregunta, Alfredo, usted contesta. Action. Uh, perdón, ¿cuál okay. columna? Teacher? First column. La primera columna. La ok. First column. Ok. Where do you work? In a hospital. What do you do? I'm a doctor. How did you like it? Uh, I really like it. Very good, excellent, good rhythm. Great job. Let's go with Karina. Karina, select somebody, please. Tenemos a Juan, tenemos a Ortiz, tenemos a Elmer, a la señorita Ruth también. All right, a Ingrid, a Eduardo y a Mayra. No sé si está hablando, pero no se le escucha, Karen. Hola. Yes, ahora sí. A Ruth. A Ruth, ok, very good. Second column, la segunda columna. Please, Karina, usted pregunta. Ruth, you answer. Action. Where does he work? In a hotel. What does he do? He's a manager. Mm -hmm. How does he like it? He is okay. Great, very good job, thank you. Giovanni, third column, choose your pair. Tercera columna, Giovanni, escoja su pareja. Vaya, tenemos a Juan Segura, tenemos a Elmer, también a alguien que parece con Ortiz, ah, dispositivo de Ortiz. Elmer, Elmer. Ok, Elmer. Ok, action. Elmer. Usted pregunta, eh, Giovanni, Giovanni, right? Let me check. Sí, Giovanni, usted pregunta, Elmer contesta. Eh, what does he work? Where does he work? Mm, where do they work? No sé si me escuchó, teacher. Where, where, la, la segunda columna, ¿verdad? No, la tercera. Ah, where perdón, do... la tercera. Where do they work? Let me check, tal vez no está el metro. O con alguien más. Sí, escoja mejor. Bueno, si quieres, escoja a Juan. Right. A Juan. Ok. Ok, I'm ready. Excelente. Okay. Vaya, pregunte de nuevo, Giovanni, please. Where do they work? In a restaurant. What do they do? They're waiters. How oh, do they like it? They hate it. Great, very good, good rhythm with questions and answers, great. All right, everybody, do not forget. Miren, van a llegar a una parte. To be honest, no recuerdo si es en este curso o en el, en el tres, en el número tres, que ustedes van a ver que el ritmo de las preguntas en la que usted lo hace sí importa, all right? Tienen las WH, tienen su sonido específico, su rhythm. Eh, las yes or no questions tienen, tienen su propio rhythm. O no, estoy seguro, o no estoy segura si es en el primer curso que lo ven también. Así que si lo vieron en el primero, usted tiene que recordarlo y ponerlo en práctica, right? So try to make it. Now let's go to the next one. WH questions structure. 
wh word plus do or does plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Let's check the two examples. Where does Maria work? What does he do? Right? Esta es la estructura. Estos son los ejemplos que se apegan a la estructura. Let me have. Vamos a ver. Eduardo Mejía, can you please read the structure? Me lee la estructura, please. Y las dos questions que tenemos ahí. Ok. WH word más do o das más plus suyo. el verbo el, el símbolo más se dice plus plus uh -huh. subject plus complement number one where does Maria work number two what does he do Great, thank you, Mr. Mejia. All right, everybody, do not forget about the question mark. No se olviden de, <clears throat> del question mark, que es súper importante en, en the grammar, right? En la gramática. Si usted no lo pone, la persona puede pensar que es un state. Okay? So you need to make sure of using the question mark. Let's listen to Jose Valle, please. Can you read again the structure? And the questions, please. Uh, where does uh, where does Maria work? Oh. The structure and the questions, la estructura y las y las preguntas, please. Ah, okay. <coughs> Wh work cross. Uh, do or does plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Mm -hmm. um, and one, uh, where does Maria work? And two, what does he do? Great, excellent, thank you. Okay, everybody, listen up. A ver. Quiero que hagan, please, no lo tengo aquí eh, plasmado la instruction, pero se las voy a decir. Just to be very clear. Recuerden, yo siempre pido que las estructuras y las sentences me las lean dos o tres veces inclusive para enfatizar, all right? Y que se nos queden bien. Carla, do you have a question? Or no, es que vi que se le encendió el micrófono. Mm. Okay, maybe you didn't. Okay, uh, ya teniendo la estructura aquí y los examples, quiero que creen una, ustedes, all right? Una question, una pregunta. That's it. Luego me la leen y si está correcta, approve. If not, we need to change it. Okay, one example of one question. Remember that we have different WH words, right? 
you are able to use uh, which, what, how, where, when, right? Make use of them. I am ready. Great. Let me hear you. I am. I. Me. Yeah, yours. Where does she live? Mm -hmm. Great. Where does she live? Simple as that. Muy bien, Alfredo. Excellent. Let's go with another one. Alguien más que haya finalizado su question? Great. Sure. Victor, tell me. Where does Stephanie play? Great, very good. Y me, me gusta que no puso place. Se acordó que ya lleva su auxiliary. Y el does hace todo. Great, very good, Mr. Galdames. Let's go with Karina and we'll go con Kevin. Action. What does teacher in class? What does? Teacher in, in class. Ah, vaya. Entonces, pero ahí necesita otro verb. All right. What does the teacher, what does the teacher do? In class. Doing class. Mm -hmm, exactly. Very good. Great. Kevin? Where does Miss Arevalo work? Mm -hmm. Great job. Great, great. Let's go with Mr. Valle. Where does he study? Where does he study? Great. Very simple and common. Great. Carla? Yes. Um, uh, what does the doctor do in the hospital? What does the doctor do in the hospital? Yes. Great. Very good. Yes. And the doctor. I'm helping people, Carla. <laughs> All right, great, very good job. And what about Claudia in Caribbean? Ah, yes, Claudia, tell me. Sería, where does my grand, 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 grandfather? Uh -huh. Grandfather? Live. Where does my grandfather live? Great, yes. Very good job, us, approve. Let's go with Claribel. ¿Qué tal, Claribel? ¿Ya terminamos? Yes, teacher. Que la primera que yo hice me la copié un compañero. Ah, ok. Ah, ustedes se copian, ¿no? Right? No, sí, just kidding. Telepáticamente, bien. Ajá, exactly. Es que y ya le pasó, ayer le pasó a Claribel también sí. eso. Ok, tell me. Está haciendo otra entonces y pasa después. O ya la tiene. Eh, where does she work? O where, where does she live? Ajá, uh -huh, very good. Where does she work? And where does she live? Very good. Great. Both of them. What about Juan? Yes. Uh, what does Maria like about her work? Great, very good. Great, clever. Let me listen to Ortiz. Uh -huh. Your microphone, I think it's Jaime Ortiz, right? But I might be mistaken. Okay, now we don't have it. What about Ruth? Uh -huh, Ruth, tell me. Hola, me escucha? Sí. 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 Mm, right. eh, la primera, where does drive in the bus? Está bien. ¿Cómo, cómo? Fue, where does drive in the bus? No le escucho. Sí le escucho el where does, pero de ahí no le escucho el subject. No sé qué sujeto está utilizando. Ah, 
Es where does drive in the bus? Where does drive in the park? Uh -huh. Si quiere escríbame la mejor, all right? Bien en el chat box porque si tiene un poquito de interference, all right? Puede sí, ser sí, eso sí, que estoy está viendo. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Ruth. Yo la comprendo, ¿ok? It's also raining in here. Pero sí, envíenla por el chat box. A ver si está correcto. Let me hear Eduardo Mejía y después de Eduardo, Mayra Guevara. Y después de Mayra, Ingrid. Ok, number one is where does Jose run? Number two, what does he eat? Number two, what does? What does he eat? Ajá, uh -huh, very good, right, both of them. Ambas están correctas, great. Okay. Let's go with Mayra. Sí, solo una realista, teacher, no le sí. escuché muy bien. No, okay. si sí, era una Mayra, pero si uh -huh. me quieren dar más, pues yo bienvenida, right? Ah, uh, okay. Este, what do you do at work? Uh -huh. What do you do at work? Yes, simple as that. Great, Mayra, thank you. Let's go with Ingrid. Eh, sería guardo, guardas, eh, Julia Prong. Where does Julia Prong? No, ahí sería con el verb to be. Where is Julia from? Sí, perdón, es where. Eh, lo siento, si así lo escribí, lo que pasa es que no sé. Estoy Pero ella está utilizando el verb to be, where is. Porque recuerde no, sería, que. Eh, where does Julia from? ¿Así? No, no puede. No. Porque me está diciendo que de dónde es. Y recuerde es que sí es cero estar. Por eso se utiliza que... el is. Ok. Ajá. Where is she from? Ok. Is she? Es diferente a utilizar el do o el does. Ok. Lo que puede decir Ingrid es, where does she live? Ahí sí aplica. She ¿A live? Dónde vive? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde vive? Ok. Uh -huh. Great job, thank you. Let me check Ruth. Where does Ron in the morning? Vaya, necesito un sujeto, eh, Ruth, all right? Uh -huh. Where does he or where does she oh. run in the morning? Uh -huh. ah. Solo eso, en la primera. Y la otra sería. En la primera. Where does también. Sí, necesita el sujeto. Yes. Bye, very está good. Bien. Yo se lo pongo. Sí, solamente eso, and that will be okay. Ah, bye. Now, let me check. Bueno, ya los demás se incorporaron después, así que no les puedo preguntar, because maybe they don't know. So let's move on, everybody. Placement of adjectives in conversation. That's exciting. All right. Eso es emocionante. That's exciting. Let me make this one bigger for you. Just move this over here. And here we go. Okay. We have Richard and Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. And that's true. Aunque puede ser estresante, también es peligroso, right? Here we go. Quiero explicarles algo. Si notan ustedes en una de las oraciones que menciona Stephanie, ella dice, it's great. Y de ahí dice, the students are terrific. Les explico. No se refiere a que los estudiantes son malísimos, right? Son terribles o horribles. No. Esa frase terrific para ellos es algo positive, right? Algo positivo como, los estudiantes son geniales, right? Ellos son buenísimos. Por eso dicen terrific. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's something positive. Es algo positivo. Um, yo puedo decir, um, Claudia is terrific, all right? Como Claudia es grandiosa, o sea, increíble, all right? O Alfredo is terrific. I can use those, all right? 
Lo utilizo este adjective como algo bueno, no como algo malo. Right? So, por si ustedes lo escuchan, no vayan a pensar, está diciendo que soy mala, que soy pésima. No, right? Es algo bueno. Terrific. Now, let's go. Let me check. Vamos a ver qué palabras podrían costarnos. A uh, Lincoln High School. Lincoln High School. Ese es el nombre de la escuela, right? <coughs> Vamos a ver. Great. It's great. Uh, terrific. Terrific. Esta. Firefighter. Firefighter. ¿Qué significa bombero? Firefighter. Firefighter. Exciting. No me vayan a decir exciting porque no existe. Es exciting. 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 A stressful. 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 Dangerous. 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 Right? Now, I need a volunteer to practice with me. Eh, Necesito un voluntario que quiera practicar conmigo, please. Me. Okay, yeah. great. ¿Quién es mí? Vamos a ver. Yo, eh, yo Alfredo. Yo, Alfredo. Yo es Alfredo, que como me voy hasta abajo en, la, en las cajitas de Zoom. Entonces, cuando vuelvo a subir hasta ahí. I am, me... I am terrific. <laughs> You're terrific, <laughs> sorry. No, no. <laughs> okay, no. listen up. Usted es Richard, yo soy Stefan, all right? Action. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, Stephanie. I heard you had a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like? How do you like? How do you like it? it? How do you like it? How do you like it? It's great. Um, the students are terrific. How are things with you? No bad. I fire fire. Firefighter. Now, Firefighter now to know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stress, stressful, stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Great, excellent. Mr. Alfaro, good job. Good rhythm. All right. Mientras yo estoy emocionado, usted estaba como, pues sí, está bien mi trabajo, pero <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> very good. Let's go with the next pair. Ahora sí, vamos con la siguiente pareja. I will have Claribel. Eh, please select a boy, a man, to participate with you. Okay. Escoja un compañero para que sea Richard. Victor Galdames. Great. Action. Usted inicia, Victor, porque usted es Richard. Okay. Hey, Stephanie. I hear... You have a new job. Yes, I am teaching at, at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a five fire. Now you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Okay, excellent. Very good. A ver, tengo encendido el micrófono. Sí, sí lo tengo. <laughs> very good. Listen up. Vamos a practicar. Eh, Victor, repeat after me. Stressful. Stressful. Dangerous. Dangerous. Very good. Claribel, repeat after me. Students. Students. Y students. la otra. Students. Plural, right? Plural. Right. Y la otra sería school. School. Yes. Great. School. Very good job. Thank you. Michelle. Amazing. Digan. Eh, sorry. Eh, bombero. Ah, firefighter. Fire, fire. Firefighter. Sí. Fire, fire. Ajá, exacto. Firefighter. Termina fire. con fire. Er, right? er. Ok, ok. Fire, Thank fire. Teacher. Okay. teacher. Dígame. I have a question. Ask me a question. 
Okay, and the case about how are things with you? Uh, what's the meaning about that? Como están las cosas, all right? O que pasa oh. en tu vida. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, thank you. Very good, excellent. Okay, let me hear uh, Carlos Acevedo. You are Richard. Select your pair, please. Escoja su pareja, please. Una Stephanie. Claudia Salgado. Claudia, excellent. Action, please. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teacher. Thank you, Mark. I work in high school. How do you like it? He's great. He's great. The students are terrific. The students are terrific. The students are terrific. Thank you. La pregunta, how are? Ah, perdón. How are things with you? Not bad. I am firefighter now. You know. That, that's exciting. Exciting. Exciting, pardon. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Yes, very good job. Thank good you. rhythm. Se entendían muy bien en la conversation. Great. As if you were friends. Así me gusta, all right, que las conversations fluyan como si fueran amigos. Básicamente la conversation es entre un par de amigos, all right, que they just met each other, se acaban como de, de encontrar, basically, all right, that's why they are talking. Great, very good job. Let's go with the next one, Giovanni. Ah, Giovanni, select your pair, please. It could be a man or a woman, you decide. Okay, este... Sí. Puede ser hombre o mujer, usted decide, all right? Don't worry, porque todo van a pasar igual. Uh -huh. Karina, ya pasó. Karina, uh, no. No, right, Karina, no ha pasado usted todavía, right? Bye. Ah, pues, con ella, con ella, teacher. Excellent action. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have new job. Yes, I teach in my uh, Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's, it's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? No, but I am a firefighter. No, no, you know. That is exciting. Yes, but it's very stressful job. And something, it's dangerous. Great, very good job. Good rhythm. Great, I have nothing to correct, all right? No tengo nada que corregir. Everything was great. Let's go with Eric Lasso, please. Select your pair. You're welcome, George. Um, Claribel. Okay, let me check. Where is she? Ah, she already passed. Ella pasó. Ah, okay. Um, Tenemos a Ruth, está Juan, está Carla también. Ruth, okay, great. Action, please. Hey, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yes. Um, teaching at uh, Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now you know that's exciting yes but it's a very stressful job and something it's dangerous yes great very good rhythm ruth repeat after me terrific terrific very good excellent <laughs> that's it pretty much let's go with the next pair juan segura select your pair please 
Tenemos a Kevin, tenemos a Mayra, a Eduardo, a José Valle, a Jimmy Flores, a Ingrid, a Madeline. Mayra. Mayra, ok, action. Okay. Uh, hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes. Um, permítame. I'm teaching. 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 Uh, Matt uh, Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. So hard things. You. Not bad. I'm five fighter now. You know. That's exciting. 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 Yes, but it's very stressful job, and sometimes it's very dangerous. Great, very good job. Excellent. Let me check. Let's go with Jose Valle. Jose, usted ya pasó, or no? No. Okay. Uh, select your player, please. We have Jimmy, we have Madeline, we have Ingrid, Eduardo. Jimmy. Okay, action. Jimmy, you are yeah. Stephanie. Action. Okay. Jay, Stephanie, I, I, I hear you have a job, a, a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am a firefighter now. You, you now. That's silly. Yes, but it's a very st stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Great, very good, excellent rhythm and also pronunciation. Jimmy, just uh, repeat after me, uh, exciting. Exciting. Yes, sir, thank you, very good. Okay, Madeline, select your pair, please. We have Kevin, Eduardo, Ingrid. Y si no me equivoco, también tenemos a... ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Quizás ya no está Xiomara. O oh, como no, sí, aquí está. Sí, aquí estoy. Ah, uh, yes, yes, I found it. Ajá, entonces, eh, Madeline, ¿con quién va? Ah, no, dice que no tiene buena señal. Ok, don't worry, don't worry, no se preocupe. Ingrid, select your pair then, please. Usted no ha pasado, ¿verdad, Ingrid? No. Eh, ¿Quiénes faltan, dice? Está Kevin, está Eduardo. También el señor Ortiz, está Xiomara. Sí. Xiomara. Ok, excelente. Ingrid, ustedes, Richard, Xiomara, you are Stephanie. Stephanie. Ok. Eh, hi, Stephanie. Hi. I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I uh, fire 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 no Joe no. That's exciting. 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 Yeah, yes, but it is very uh, exciting. Exciting. Aquí sería justo como está escrito. Stressful. Stressful. Okay. Entonces sería yes, but is a very stressful job and so and something something sometimes sometimes it's danger dangerous. Danger. Very good, excellent. Thank you for your effort, girls. Great job. Okay, Kevin, you are going to work with Eduardo Mejia, all right? Kevin, you are Richard. Eduardo, creo que usted no ha pasado, right? No, no ha pasado. Okay, entonces usted es Stephanie. Action, Kevin. Hey, Stephanie. 
I heard you have a new job. Yes, I am teaching much at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? How it's great. The students are ter terrific. 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 Are uh, how, how are how are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now. You know. That exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job and sometimes it's dangerous. Great, very good. I was feeling actually as if you were friends. All right. Sentía como si en realidad fueran amigos. Okay. Let me Teacher. check. Yes. Uh, uh, in the case about the exciting. Uh -huh. It's like a, it's like a, a emocionante or? Or... No, sí, emocionante. Sí. Yeah, okay. Like... Okay. Yeah. Gracias. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Exciting. Emocionante. Right. Ustedes pueden ocuparlo en cualquier contexto. Right. Now, placement of adjectives. El propósito de esto, por lo cual ustedes en la conversación no se podían omitir ningún adjective como new, eh, terrific. Vamos a ver, exciting, stressful, dangerous. El propósito de tener esos adjectives es para esto. Let's check. Son dos estructuras diferentes. B plus adjective is the first one. Es decir, verb to be plus adjective. A firefighters, esa S que tiene el firefighters, no es de verb to be, es de possessivo. All right? Possessive adjective, possessive now. A firefighter's job is dangerous. Aquí es donde se pone en práctica la estructura del B plus adjective. A doctor's job is stressful. Como he venido diciéndoles desde la tercera clase, que ya lo empecé a notar, tienen que pronunciar esas S, all right? Whenever it's plural or possessive. Ya sea que sea en plural o para possessive, Usted tiene que pronunciar esas S. No puedo omitirlas. All right? So, a firefighter's job is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Y luego tenemos the second structure. Adjective plus noun. A, fire, uh, no, a firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. Vamos a ver, pregunto a Carlos, Carlos Acevedo, ¿por qué estoy utilizando el has en ambas sentences? Eh, porque está refiriéndose a una persona, a la tercera persona del singular. Yes, sir, very good, that's great. Qué bueno que no lo olvidó, that's correct, All right? We usually know have, usualmente utilizamos el have, right? Because we're talking about us. But in this case, we are using third person singular. No, no aparece el género de la persona, pero es third person singular. Por eso utilizan el has. Okay? Keep in mind that. Recuerden eso, lo vimos hace como tres clases. Luego, ¿dónde viene a pegar la estructura? Adjective plus noun. A dangerous. Este es mi adjective. Y el noun que vamos a estar utilizando va a ser job. La palabrita job. Este va a ser su noun. All right. Now, ya lo dije yo, ya escucharon la pronunciation. Now it's your turn. Let me see. Vamos con Jose Valle, please. Tell me the sentences related to B plus adjective. Léame las oraciones de B plus adjective. Okay. Uh, firefighters. Joe is dangerous. A doctor's Joe, Joe is stressful. Great, very good. I heard those S. Escuché esas S. Es. Perfect. Let me hear Jimmy Flores. Tell me the sentences related to adjective plus noun. Okay. Uh, five Foster has a dangerous job. A doctor has a, a, a stressful job. Great, very good, that's correct, nailed it. Let me hear Eric Lasso, yes? 
uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Is 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 uh, two sentences? ¿Qué uh, significa? O sea, ¿qué significa? Esa expresión. La primera. Two Ajá, okay. la primera. Ah, el, la traducción quiere usted, translation. Ajá. Ajá. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. All right. El trabajo. Ah, uh -huh. o sea, que se usa también la A. Que, yo la A este, pensaba que solo era un, un o, o, o A. O sea, yeah. pensé que la A. Ajá, pensé que la A, la traducción solo era un. Uh -huh. Pero también se puede utilizar como él. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, you can use the definitely. All right. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. A diferencia de la que está la par, un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. It's different. Thank you, teacher. Great. Very good. Now, with that being said, I need another pair. Let me have one segura. Please read again the sentences of B plus adjective. B plus adjectives. Okay, a firefighter's job is is dangerous. A doctor's job is stressful. Mm -hmm. Great job, excellent, thank you. Estoy chequeando si estamos leyendo bien esas S. Eric Lasso, please. Usted va a ser adjective plus now, please. A firefighter has a dangerous job. A doctor has a stressful job. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Now, everybody, with that being said, habiendo leído esto ya three times, let's move on to this one. Guiding a structure. Una estructura guía para ustedes, right? Para notar a dónde es que va todo colocado. We have article A or N plus profession plus apostrophe S. Recuerden, esto se lee apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Plus verb to be plus adjective. Esta estructura es la de la primera, B plus adjective, all right? Solo que no se lo puse aquí, pero literalmente es la de B plus adjective. Copy this structure on your notebooks, please. And over here, above the structure, we have the adjectives. We have boring, easy, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. All right, we have a ton of adjectives. Usted, a medida vaya avanzando en su curso de inglés, Va a ir aprendiendo más vocabulario, right? Adquiriendo más vocabulario. Entre eso van a adquirir more adjectives. Más adjetivos. So, let me see. Víctor Galdames, can you please read the structure? Me lee la estructura, please. Y los adjectives. Ok. Eh, article and or an. Eh, perdón. Article A or N plus profession plus uh, contracts. Apostrophe E, eh, apostrophe S. Apostrophe S plus verb to be plus adjective. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Adjectives. Boring, easy, dangerous. Exciting, difficult, stressful. Great, excellent, very good. Claribel, read again the structure, please. Me lee la estructura y los adjectives. Okay, article A or an plus profession plus apostrophe F plus verb to be. Plus adjective, adjective, boring, AC, dangerous, exciting, difficult, stressful. All right, repeat after me. Easy. Easy. 
Difficult. Difficult. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Clarice. Yeah. All right. Let me know, you guys. Finish with this. Terminamos con esta estructura. Ya la tiene en su cuadernito. Great. Very good. Let's move on to the next one. Guiding examples. Como es usual, yo les voy a brindar ejemplos para que ustedes puedan guiarse. A lawyer's job is hard. And that's true. Okay? It's a fact. A waiter's job is difficult. Another fact. Es un hecho. Ambas son hechos reales. All right? A lawyer's a lawyer's job is hard and a waiter's job is difficult. Claudia, can you read please both sentences? Me lee las dos oraciones, please. Sería a como se dice, a A lawyer's a lawyer's. Entonces va junto, ¿verdad? A lawyer's job is hard. Uh, right, job is difficult. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Thank Mrs. you. Salgado. Let's go with Carlos. Can you please read again the sentences? Okay. First, a lawyer's job is hard. Uh, second, a waiter's job is difficult. That's correct. Excellent. Xiomara, can you please read the sentences again? One, a uh, liar's job is hard. Two, a uh, waiter's job is difficult. Great, excellent. And the last one, Jimmy Flores, can you read both both sentences, please? Okay. Number one, a lawyer's job is hard. Number two, a waiter's job is difficult. Great, excellent, you guys, congratulations. Muy bien, los felicito. Parece sencillo leer dos sentences, right? Pero muchas veces nos equivocamos con la S y no la pronunciamos. Pero todos lo hicieron. Very good job. Great. That's exciting. <laughs> Now, uh, are you taking notes or should I move on? ¿Están tomando nota o muevo ya la lámpara? Finish or not? I finish. Great. Listen up. We have the practice time. Pero solo le voy a pedir que lean las instructions y esto lo vamos a trabajar mañana, right? Let me see, Karina. Can you please read the instructions? Work individually. Practice time. Work individually. Really, try to sentences using the structure B plus adjective as question is needed. Excellent, thank you, right? Van a crear dos oraciones utilizando la estructura que acaban de ver y que ya tienen en su cuaderno. And that's pretty easy, all right? Ya tienen ahí unos adjectives, usted puede utilizar otros adjectives que quiera agregar. Solo two sentences para mañana, all right? Eso va a ser como nuestro warming up, como nuestro calentamiento de la clase, okay? Tomorrow we are going to officially finish section three. Mañana oficialmente terminamos la sección tres y terminamos el midterm exam, aunque asumo que la mayoría de ustedes ya lo terminó. Así que ahí me da copia mañana, please. Okay, now everybody, that's pretty much it for today's class and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. I see you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Bye. Teacher. See ya. Good night, teacher.